If I told you there was a high quality print on demand company out there with the lowest prices in print on demand history, would you believe me? Probably not, but in this video, I'm here to prove that point because this company is really, really cool. And I've got a whole bunch of tests in this video to really find out if they are worth the hype. This is going to be an extensive review of Print Tailor, a review of the quality of their products, the speed of their shipping, the ease of use of their website, and whether or not they are worth your time. So, who is Print Tailor? Well, they are an overseas print on demand company, which is why they're able to be so cheap. They have clients such as ASOS, Lululemon, and Boohoo. So pretty big brand names. In terms of your classic print on demand companies, they're pretty similar to others. There's a simple five step process when using Print Tailor. Pick an item, design something and slap it on and you know, generate a mock up, connect it to your store, whether it's Shopify or Etsy, and then Print Tailor will fulfill the order. They'll print it, they'll ship it, they'll do all of that. Now, there isn't a marketplace like you sometimes find on other print on demand platforms. However, Print Tailor is similar to Printful, except it's way, way cheaper, and you can still connect it to Etsy, which has its own marketplace. So it's it's brilliant. I mean, the profit margins are, are absolutely insane. I have never seen anything like this. So let's order a whole bunch of stuff so that we can fully test the quality, the ease of ordering, everything really, because, well, I don't wanna be wearing this anymore. I want to start putting on some print tailor stuff to see how good it really is. Okay, let's sign up now to print tailor. Let's click sign up. We need to sign up. Let's go to uh, file library. Let's upload a couple of files. So I've got a few designs that I wanna put on. And in order to do that, we're just gonna head over to product templates and we're going to create a new template. Now, the main reason why I was drawn to make this video is because this is a different kind of company, right? This is printed and created overseas. The quality should be superior. It's also a lot cheaper. Let's just do a hoodie for now. We're gonna order a whole range of products so we can fully test them all, but this is what it looks like. You've got the the, the, the 3D over here, or you can just go for a mock-up, you know, and it will look a bit different. But let's go for the 3D one because that looks cool. We'll drag and drop our design here. So we have a whole bunch of designs are ready to go. So let's say we put this one in. Right, and this is what it would look like. Now we can make it bigger, you know, we can make it smaller. You can kind of see what's going on here. So let's just say, you know, this is what it's gonna look like. And we can see here on the left, we can also choose between different colors and it will show the different colors. And that's pretty cool. I mean, I actually really, really like that. So what I'm going to do here is let's just, you know, save a gray version. You can also put stuff on the back. You can put stuff on the left sleeve and you can put stuff on the right sleeve. For now, I'm just gonna put something on the front and I'm gonna click save. Okay, I now have all the product templates done and I've created quite a few different product templates. And the reason for that is because I wanna fully test out each product that they're selling or each product that I care about, like the hoodie, the sweater, the t-shirt. I, I wanna test out a design on the front, design on the back. I wanna test out three different types of designs. I really wanna put this company through their paces. I'm just gonna click purchase and then it will take me to this page where I can select the colors. So for example, with this one, you know, we're gonna go for a gray, we're gonna go for a navy blue, and we're gonna go for a white, okay? And then this, and we're gonna go for mediums, okay? Next one, it's just mad how it's $14.99 for a hoodie. For a hoodie! I mean, you can sell hoodies for $40. Right, and now what we need to do is we need to put the shipping in. Let's just buy this. All right, we've now ordered a whole bunch of hoodies, t-shirts, and jumpers. So all we have to do now is wait. They're here. One, one, one minute, one minute. It's here. Right, let's open this. But quickly, let me just tell you, there are two types of shipping. You've got standard and express. Now, standard is seven to 15 days shipping, which for standard is still not bad considering print on demand companies can take two to three weeks anyway. And then you've also got express, which is four to eight days shipping. So yeah, those are your shipping times that you have. Let me open this up for you. 
I've ordered a lot of stuff to test here because I wanted this to be a really, really in-depth video to see if the company is worth it. So I've got three different designs on three different items. We have this design, we've got this design, we've got another design as well to test that out. I wanted to test out different colors, different types of printing, all of that. And then we've got t-shirts, obviously. I'm falling, I'm falling. <laughs> I'm going to do a lot of testing with these to see if it's worth it. These are all the items. Okay, I know it's a lot of stuff. Just hear me out. This is the most important category, which is why I wanted to make it as extensive as possible. We have four different types of clothing here. We have a zip-up hoodie. Right, this zip-up hoodie has the design on the back. I'm not going to ruin it. We then have a normal hoodie. Just a normal hoodie. We then have a t-shirt, which I've got three of. And then we have a crew neck. I wanted to test those four things as I think they are the most popular types of things. And I want to just, you know, see how good they are. Now, the reason why this is such an important category is because we're going to be testing this in four different ways. The first one is the quality of the actual item. The second is the quality of the prints. I mean, are the prints any good? The third is the wash test. Can they survive going into the wash? And the fourth is the drying test. Can they survive going through the dryer? So let's start with the first category and that is the quality of the actual clothing item. So one thing that I've noticed here is the inside is really, really soft. It's really, really nice. Like I said before, it's very much high street quality, right? The thickness of it, it's a thick jumper. This is, I mean, you can see here from the stitching, right? It's all very, very good stuff. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a sewer, but this looks like it's pretty good stitching. What I'm feeling here is the thickness of this, and that's just really good quality. So I'm gonna try this on. Everything here is a medium, so that I could really do a, a, a make sure everything matches, right? So that's, that's the crew neck. The t-shirt. Now the t-shirt is something that, well, you expect to be good. It's quite big. Again, I did go for medium. But again, just the, the, the softness of it. It's it's very nice. It's not, well, you, I mean, you may have not have seen my other print-on-demand quality test videos, but you get all different types of, of, of quality with different companies. And one thing I'm noticing with this company is it doesn't really feel like a print-on-demand company. Right, we've now got hoodies. These are a hoodie, right? Oh, I like nice and baggy hoodies. But anyways, you've got very classic, you know, drawstrings. But, you know, nice, actually, quality of the metal here. Not some rubbishy plastic that you sometimes find. Again, the inside, you've got the nice, furry inside. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's really, really soft. And then the, just the quality of stitching, the, the overall thickness of this. I'm going to try it on, but the overall thickness of this, it's very different to, like, the, 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 I mean, it's really hard to show you this on camera, but the thinness of this compared to the nice thick quality of this. Right, and then we have one more. Okay, so I wanted to go for this just so I could really test everything and uh, cover all my bases, really. So this is the zip. Now, there's no design on here, but there's a design on the back because, well, why not? But anyways, the zip quality, the, the, the zip up hoodie, right? It's... It looks soft. I'm actually looking forward to wearing this. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with the thickness of this. So I'm gonna go and try all these on so you can kind of see what they look like. This is the first one. This is the crew neck. It's soft, it's comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel bitty. And that's what I really like. Okay, let's try on a t-shirt. Okay, so this is a medium t-shirt. It feels a bit big. I don't know why. Maybe it doesn't look big. I don't know. What do you think? Does this look big? Bit big on the seat. It's a bit big on the seat. Again, it is a medium. I, I'm usually a size small, but either way, very, very, very soft. It just, it feels nice to wear. It feels very light. It doesn't feel like I'm uncomfortable wearing it, which I think is really important. All right, next, let's try on the hoodie. All right, and this is the hoodie. It actually fits me a lot, a lot better. This is a medium as well. So maybe in hoodie and sweater, I'm a medium, but in t-shirt, I'm a small. I'm about five, six. So you can kind of work out what you think, you know, you should size up and how you should say your descriptions. So in terms of comfort quality, comfort, I mean, again, it's just, it feels light, it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel, that it's not pulling or snagging or itching or, or, or anything anywhere really. It just feels nice. It's very, very comfy, right? It's, it's good quality. Right, the last thing we have to try on is the zip. Okay, so this is the zip hoodie. The zip hoodie, is very, very similar to the other one, except it's a zip. 
Okay, so this is slightly tighter. I can feel the, the elastic down here being a bit tighter. But again, I mean, it's, I think it still fits me. I think I would still consider myself a medium in the hoodie, in the zip hoodie. And you've got the design on the back, which is pretty cool. But again, in terms of quality, it's just so flipping comfortable. I mean, I'm really, really impressed by the... It's like I keep saying, it doesn't feel like print on demand. We're now up to the actual print quality test. Is it any good? So as you can see here, I've got a t-shirt, a, a crew neck and a hoodie, all with a different design. Because I really want to test it out. So I've got all the colours on this one. I've got gradient on this one, because I like testing out gradient. And then I've just got a classic, you know, simple one over here. So let's start with the classic one. So the first thing that I noticed is that this doesn't feel like a print on demand. It feels like it's actually, I don't know what it is, but it, it feels like it hasn't been printed on with a normal printer. I mean, I'm sure it has, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels like, it's odd to say, but it, it, it feels like it's not going to come off. Like it's a really, really good design. I mean, can you see that? Like it's not even stretching. If I pull it, I'm pulling it hard here. You can see the letters stretching there, right? And it's just, it, it, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's really, really good. That's that one, that's a t-shirt. Now t-shirts are a bit different to the um, the crew neck. So the crew necks, this is a bit, a bit of a different design, okay? You can kind of see, again, the quality is just phenomenal. Again, it doesn't feel like print on demand. And the gradient, I'm really impressed with that gradient because one thing that printers cannot do is gradient. You can see the dark, the dark pink going to the light pink over here, right? And it's pretty impressive, I mean, is it not pretty impressive? And again, stretching it. So you can see, you can see the actual hoodie is being stretched. You can see the, the gaps there while I'm stretching the hoodie, but the design is staying nice. So that's pretty cool. And then finally we have a the, the, the hoodie, right? So the other one was a crew neck. This is a hoodie with this design. And again, I've chosen on a black, white, and navy. Now this was the most intense because of all the different colors. And what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing what looks like it looks like one solid piece that has been slapped on and kind of like ironed on. And now I know it hasn't, but that's like what it feels like. It doesn't feel like it's gonna crack or break. That's what I think makes this company so unique is they're of course a print on demand company, but they don't act like a print on demand company. They don't have the same quality that print on demand companies have. They have the quality of normal high street shops but they're selling print on demand, which is what really drew me to them and which is why I think this is gonna be quite unique using this company. So what we're gonna do now is we've got all of these different, we've got a lot of them. We've got, I've probably got two washers full of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff everything in the wash now and see, can it survive the wash test? Right, let's get this wash going. So I just do a general wash on 30 just because that's me. Two hours later. All right, the washing is now done. What we're gonna do is we're going to dry some of them, but not all of them, because technically this stuff shouldn't be put in the dryer. So anyone reading the label will see this shouldn't go in the dryer, but I wanna speed this up. And also I wanna compare putting one in the dryer and one not in the dryer. All right, so firstly, I just wanna quickly show you before I put it in the dryer, look at the print. It's, it's amazing. It hasn't cracked nothing has happened. It's like spot on perfect, right? You can see that. All right, they've all been washed now. They've all been fully dried, some with the dryer, some air dried. And as expected, they are absolutely perfect. I mean, I'm gonna be showing you close-ups of this, but basically the design has been insane. It's, it's the way it's been printed on, I just don't understand it, but it's amazing. Like it's really, really impressive. They got, they've gone through a vigorous wash and a vigorous dry, even though it said, do not put this in the tumble dryer. I still did, shh, don't tell anyone. And it still survived. And the size, they didn't shrink nothing. Now look, I'm not recommending you put them in the tumble dryer if it says don't do that, but I wanted to really put this company through its paces. And I mean, the design is just, it's just amazing. It's honestly, mind-blowing how how good it is there's not a single crack at all not one it's just it's just perfect it's absolutely perfect I'm I'm very very impressed with this print on demand company and as I said multiple times before I think this might be the first time 
I've come across, you know, t-shirts and hoodies from a print-on-demand company where it doesn't actually feel like print-on-demand quality. It feels much, much more superior. Now that we know who the company is, what the quality is like, what the website ease of use is like, and everything we need to know about them, are they worth it? Should you look into using them? Personally, I think the quality is incredible. And I'm not just saying that, you know, I really, really mean it. And the reason why I think that is because this is the first print-on-demand company where I can actually relate the quality to that of a high street shop, like a really good high street shop. I'm talking the warmth factor, the print quality factor, all of it. And I have fully tested these out. In fact, I even took these jumpers and these hoodies skiing with me to really test out how warm they are, how they hold up in you know colder conditions and are they just comfortable to wear and honestly, they tick every single box. If you want to look into Print Tailor a bit more, the link will be down below in the description. Like I said, I highly recommend it, but let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think the quality is any good? I think it's actually really, really impressive. And of course, if you want to make even more money through alternative print-on-demand methods, and I mean way more money, then go and check this video out because it's a brilliant video that will show you how you can make money leveraging your print-on-demand knowledge and your print-on-demand skills.